Abby Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine. Check us on the web, www.ntnm.org, where you 38,000 or so people have watched shows. At this point, it's probably higher than that. It just keeps going up so much. Uh, our Deep Tunnel show uh, actually surpassed 10,000 views, which really was uh, unreal. And, and the other shows just climbing all the time. So check us out, Community Policing, caps24.org. Thanks to my entire technical crew, Sonny Hirsch. It is election season. And, um, you know, we're, we like to bring you as many judges as possible. This, this year, um, there's 70 judges up for, for a retention vote. And we'll get as many of them on as we can for you to be able to meet and be able to see for yourself. And um, here is someone I've actually known for a while who, who he'll explain to me, or to us where he is. I know he was elected as a 10 sub-circuit uh, judge. A sub-circuit, sub sorry. And actually, his brother Dennis has been on the show. We're talking about Judge Jack Fleming. J Abby, uh, judge, how are you doing? Thanks for having me. First of all, thank you. And t tell us where you're serving right now. Uh, currently, well, most of the 12 years I've been on, I'm at 26 in California. For the last six years, I've been assigned to the criminal division. Prior to that, it was the first municipal division where I did uh, felony preliminary hearings in, in the bond call. Now I do actual uh, felony trials. And what kind of felonies uh, do you cover? Currently, I do everything. I have what they call a full felony trial, so it goes from the class four uh, felonies, which are simple possessions and retail thefts, to uh, murder capital cases. For the first four years, I was a dedicated narcotics court, which was a high volume court. Uh, I did only narcotics cases, and we would dispose of approximately 2,000 cases a year. Wow. Out of that call, obviously, I do fewer to, cases are disposed of in the the cases I have now with murders, you don't go through those as quick as you do with no, them. No, not at all. Um, how many murder trials do you uh, do you get a year, approximately? Oh, um, right now I probably have about a half dozen murders pending on on the call. They've put me on hold because once you reach a certain number, they don't give you any more. But last year we, I disposed of approximately, I think it was nine, and I think five of those were by jury trial. And wow, also oh, five by jury trial. That was going to be my next question. You anticipated that very well. <laughs> um, I mean, do these trials last a long time? Uh, it's not like uh, TV where a murder trial the rest to uh, prosecutions over in two days, and it's it's not <laughs> like uh, California where it's two years. Uh, <laughs> the uh, usually at Twenty Sixth Street, a, a murder case. If you'll you'll pick the jury, say on a Monday, and it usually will conclude on a, a Friday or early the next week. So it's probably usually four to six days of a, of actual trial. Wow. And um, now, how many? So it sounds like about half. Is, is that a safe rule of thumb? About half of them wind up going to a jury, or no? Mur murder cases. You're going to have a higher percentage of murder cases go to trial than other cases, but. I wouldn't still say that it's 50%. I'd still say probably that maybe murder cases, you're at 25% that wow. actually would go to a jury trial. A larger percentage would go to a bench trial, but still a, a large amount plead guilty. Interesting. I guess um, that the evidence is there dead to rights and well, plea bargaining. I don't know. I just know that, you know what, that's the trouble. I used to never watch TV, and I used to have a much more intelligent opinion about this <laughs> stuff because I actually used to cover cases at one time at 26th and Cal. But when I started watching Homicide and then the Law and Order stuff, it's like, I see at the camps meetings, and, and I'm doing that now. It's like, I, TV isn't real. You're the one who'll tell us what's real. <laughs> There's a million factors that go into whether or not, and it's the defendant's yeah. choice, whether he pleads guilty, yeah. whether he takes a bench trial or a jury trial. But they get full discovery, which is one of the things that probably delays the cases, especially today with all the scientific evidence. You have to wait for the DNA. You have to wait for the lab reports. And then their lawyers go over the, with them, and their lawyers give them frank assessments of what they think their their chances are. And then, uh, you know, they'll decide. Sometimes they think they can get a, a jury uh, to believe them. Sometimes they, they think they'll have a better chance if they have, like, a more technical legal arguments. One of the things that go into it, maybe they'll take a, a, bench, a bench trial. And then sometimes they just say, well, I'm going to fold my cards, plead guilty, and hope I can get a better deal. That's... Hmm. It, uh it's got to be a fascinating world. <laughs> There's, it's, it's toss and turn every day. There's usually something different that keeps you alert. Yeah, I hear. So, um, I mean, is, is, there, is there a direction? You're, I mean, you're, you're happy where you are. I mean, do, do they move you direction-wise over the course of a career? Or? Well, 
usually you get on a criminal path or, or a civil path. I was more or less put on a, a criminal path and I started out uh, I was doing the felony preliminary hearings and then they initiated Central Bond Court where all the felony uh, arrests in the city of Chicago went to one location and a group of judges rotated and heard all the, uh, the initial bond hearing and ma made those bond determinations and then we also did felony preliminary hearings. From there they more or less promoted me into the criminal division uh, and then you start as a floater. You sit in, it's vac vacation replacement, you sit in for other judges and then you get a trial call, which is usually a narcotics call to begin with, and then you move up to where I'm at now, where you do the full range of felonies. A uh, number of judges from the criminal division will leave and go down to the, the civil division uh, to do ci civil trials to vary their, their background. They get, you know, uh, you know, variety is the spice of life. So mm -hmm. after a number of years at 26th Street, they'll want to go down uh, to the civil division. And there's guys that like Fred Surya, who was a judge for 40-something you know, years. He spent two years in the divorce division, wanted to go back to 26th Street, and never wanted to leave. So you get people that are strictly love 26th Street and do the criminal things, and you have people that want to go through the system and then, well, maybe I'll try civil law now, and they'll, and they'll move on. I think divorce stuff would make me nuts. <laughs> I, I've never done that, but I, my hat goes off to all my brother and sister judges that deal with that every day. Yeah, that's uh, that. That is a job I would not want. Uh, the yeah. So I'm. I, is there any? I mean, at one point, do you decide you want to be a judge? I mean, you were working as a lawyer for obviously before that. When I got out of law school, I clerked at. I was clerking in law school for. Uh, Joe Power, who used to be the, a judge at 26th Street, and he was at the Park District, and I worked there when I got out of law school. Then I went to work at the state attorney's office. Rich Daly was the state's attorney, and, and Dick Devine was the, the first assistant. I did that for uh, eight years, and then and I went into the felony division. I was trying murders and, and felony cases. I left there, went to the, the Park District, where Dick Devine was then the, the president of the Park District, and I was in charge of uh, litigation there, which is basically defending the park district against people who sued because they fell off swings, more personal mm -hmm. injury defense, more litigation type work. And then I also ran a administrative adjudication program for uh, the City of Chicago Department of Streets and Sanitation. But during my years in the state's attorney's office and at the park district going to court every day, I kind of got in the back of my head that, you know, maybe I'd, I could do that and it looked like uh, something I was interested in being a judge, and then with the sub-circuits, uh, an opportunity presented itself, and I, I ran, and I was very fortunate to, to be elected 12 years ago, and now I'm up for my second retention election. And I have to say, from, from the time I've known you, except for you probably uh, appearing on the show, you've shown good judgment almost all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, good judgment and friendships, I know. But anyway, I, I do want to highly recommend, and, and trust me, he's, he'll be endorsed by Jewish Chicago. I've got a special in with the publisher. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and you can look for that. That's not going to be out, to, though, till, um, you know October 20, whatever. But um, anyway, I want to thank very much Jack Fleming. All right. Thank, thank you very you, much Abby. for being Appreciate here. Appreciate it. And there's uh, cookcountyjudges.com is the... Uh, That's uh, Shelley gave you the website earlier, and uh, you know, it has all our bios Judge on there. Shelley Sucker Dermer, so it'll be on right. different shows, but... Uh, and Billy O'Brien was on also. And there's more judges coming your way, as well as a number of other guests. So stay tuned week to week, and you'll meet more politicians here than you will almost anywhere. Thanks so much, everybody. <laughs>